Listen up, Royce. We need you to give Eminem that motivation on this track. Because I'm not trying to hear him go on and on about heavy duty like... Gro Wait, no. Booty heavy duty like diary. I'm not trying to hear that again, alright? You bring out the best in Eminem. I know you do. But he only does that when he's got another MC that's just as consistent lyrically. And I know you're that man. You can give him the motivation. You can give him the product that he needs to give us that entertainment. I know exactly what's going on here, alright? You're both in Slaughterhouse. You're both on Shady. Well, no. You're not on Shady anymore. You never were on Shady. I don't remember if that's a true thing or not. However, I know that Royce the 5'9 is one of the most consistent, lyrically pleasing artists. Not all of his songs are great to me. The lyrics, he definitely does shine. And I feel like Eminem being in the room with Royce the 5'9 when recording will bring out more motivation and inspiration for him to stay consistently lyrically pleasing. So, with that being said, I'm ready to hop into this track. I'm hoping Eminem doesn't have a fallback, because if he does, that next album he's coming out with is going to be called Retirement. Without further ado, we got Caterpillar from Royce to 5'9", from Eminem, both Detroit artists. I'm from Detroit. I love this album and this track already, and I haven't even heard it. That's called Bias, folks. Learn from it. Nah, if this track is trash, I'm really going to shit on it. Also, uh, Royce to 5'9 has a new album coming out today called Book of Ryan. If you want to listen to it, you should. See, I heard this beat on Twitter. And I, I was. Okay, Joe Scott. I got you. I got you. I got you, fam. Get off the track. I got you. Get off the track now. Oh. Where? Come to slaughter mics. I'm trying to be number one in my son and daughter life. Uh, all you I niggas, my little, my children, y'all bit my shit and contracted rabies. Don't you crazy uh. next to these rappers? My pen is like big pen. This shit just a classic way. Your favorite rapper come at me. I just decapitate him. Capitate him, I don't give a fuck. Hey Kendrick, you mind sacrificing yourself to Royce to Fire 9 for some entertainment, please? Plan, I know it's gonna make some people mad. Um that Big Ben line was that was dope. They had a terrorist attack in London, right? And they hit Big Ben, right? But it was um like the clock doesn't move until a certain time. And then like his pen is like constant anticipation of what's coming next. Okay, Royce. Number one, Ooh. Doing number one, just Yo, this chorus is dumb. Oh, another one? I respect to you, and I feel like we're friends, so now we no longer competitors. Who next to you that don't want the best of you is completely on what I fly. Don't you ever disrespect the fucking caterpillar. Uh. Uh. It sounds like Royce is giving, like, advice almost to... I don't know if he's giving advice to upcoming rappers because he's kind of like just saying, don't let anyone disrespect you. Stay professional and make their money. I don't know if he's talking to, like, his family or if he's talking like like i said to the rap game and i don't know if he's telling like old heads out there to like respect these young caterpillars because eventually they'll be butterflies King green is killing this hook he's killing it Wait, no, you are so, I hate Eminem sometimes, man, talking about a silverback gorilla and then gonna say, back when Silva, Anderson Silva. Still that gone. Because dad taught you to rap as a damn toddler. Yeah. My dad is your grandfather. Yeah. I have to rehatch on yeah. your back. Your dad taught you to rap. Your dad is my grandfather. What? Wait, he said my dad is your grandfather. So he's saying that I'm your father. Eminem, you just you just you just pulled a Nicki Minaj. You just said all these bitches are my sons. Why? Need to come to grips like a hand job. God Boom, damn it! Coming. Number one on my pencils and number two, cause that's all I do is when I'm poop is my suit and I'm poop Jerusalem. I'm about to go spinning. So listen. Bad meets evil number two. So this track was great. I love the hook from King Green. I think I think that I think that was it. It's almost like uh Royce is trying to hold Eminem back from attacking the rap game because Royce's approach in this even though it is hard hitting it's kind of uh what, what's the right word it's a little bit more empathetic you know because he's trying to rationalize and reason with the current state of hip-hop I think 
by telling them or giving them certain instructions but also saying not to come at him or disrespect him because at the end of the day he'll he'll pretty much squash you he'll kill you too uh eminem's approach is a lot more aggressive a lot less forgiving and a lot more um a lot more roast worthy i guess you could say He's a lot more compelling a lot more passionate he seems to be a lot more willing to go toe to toe uh, knowing that the current state of rap and current state of hip-hop can't really do anything to defend themselves against him if he were to attack That's why he calls himself a wasp because uh, You can smack a wasp you can throw you know Shit on a wasp whatever you want to do to it. You can't stop it from stinging. I mean theoretically you can but you can't like kill it with a swat I loved um his line, Royce the Five Nines, Big Ben line. I thought that was great because I am anticipating new Royce music. Even if I don't think I'm gonna like it sonically, it doesn't really always uh, please me. But I'm always lyrically interested in uh, Royce the Five Nine. I know on the Book of Ryan, he's, he's probably gonna be talking about himself being very introspective. So um, I'm anticipating that. Probably gonna do a review to it when I'm done listening. And I don't know if their approach on this album is to give advice to kind of mold what the caterpillars are going to be. Um, by having a different raising approach, having a, good, a different parenting approach, because they're both in a way sunning uh, parts of the rap game, but in a way it's kind of like they're taking their own parental approach. One being a little bit more empathetic and trying to give advice while one's giving that harsh love. I absolutely love the rhyme scheme with Eminem and the uh, Silverback Gorilla and Andrew Silva breaking his leg. Seeing the rap is a vagina and I'm going in like a tampon, which is disgusting. I love the double the double entendre. He says wax on and then says you can't even hold a candle to Daniel son, even wax off. Wax song, you make a wax song. These rappers make wax music, wax songs, but wax on wax off from the karate kid i love that what was the last thing he said something about something about tight grip hand jobs you jack off need to come to grips like a hand job <laughs> the boom that was coming back. Great. one quick thing though that i do need to mention is those last few lines on eminem's verse were absolute shit and I'm not saying that to be funny. They were literally talking about feces. Like, I don't know why with Eminem, like recently, he's found the need to incorporate feces, like literal bowel movements into his music to kind of uh, represent how trash something may be. But he needs to cut that out. I could have done without those last few lines, but the rest of his verse was just fine. But those last few lines, just no. All in all, I completely enjoyed this track. I love where Royce went with it. I love where Eminem went with it. Like I said, also King Green with the hook is, is great. Eminem did not disappoint. I'm proud of you. I'm not saying that to be patronizing. I really am proud. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about the song. Uh, definitely tell me how you feel about it. Uh, and listen to Royce's album too, by the way. Uh, it's been Sean C. I'll see you in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.